Hey guys, I'm super stoked to show you what we've got today. Lalin from Auto Indulgence has just imported this R33 GTR. So what we're gonna do on this car is we're gonna do a full paint correction on it and I'm gonna walk you around the car now to show you what we wanna start out with. So we wanna start out with the wheels because they are super contaminated with brake dust. They haven't been cleaned in quite a while. We'll get an acid-free rim cleaner on them to prevent any corrosion or anything like that from happening. And if you come over here, I'll show you the plastics, super common, obviously completely faded from the sun. We'll take care of that later on. There's so much contamination in the paint that I think the best tool to use would be a clay disc. It's super easy, but you just need to use it the right way. Obviously, it's super common. Again, the, um, the exhaust has that surface corrosion on it. Let's take care of that with the Semex metal polish again. So this car's got a pretty specific problem. It's got um, water spotting on the windows and it's basically um, mineral residues that have like etched themselves kind of into the surface of it. It can be very hard to get rid of if you don't have the right product. So have you ever wondered why real old school cars headlights usually look pretty right? In that medium sort of age around mid 90s, nearly all the cars, the headlights just go yellow as. It's because that was like the early stages of plastic lenses and they've seen so much sunlight over the years now that they literally most all will look like this. And um, we'll show you guys how to take care of that today. All right, guys, let's get cracking. So we'll always start with cleaning our rims. So we've got a pH neutral rim cleaner here, a rim brush to agitate the dust, the brake dust. Once we've done that, pH neutral gloss shampoo, super easy, meet it down and we'll dry it off. And obviously we'll be using the two bucket method with quick guards to make sure there's no dirt that goes back onto the car, prevent any scratches and swirl marks. I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding the road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when he throw in the fastball. Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. Yeah, I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in a big lease. Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Right, so we've got a uh, spray bottle here that we've put a bit of gloss shampoo into. So the concentration needs to be fairly high because it does need to lubricate a lot whilst we're doing this. Give it a really liberal coating with the gloss shampoo and I'll turn the speed all the way down on the machine and just slowly work the machine from side to side making sure to get every section of the paint. Guys, now that we've clay this the entire vehicle, we now get to our first stage of polishing. We're gonna do a two-step correction on it. Um, so we're gonna start out with ultimate cut. Um, we're gonna use the hybrid wool pads, probably one of my favorite pads out there. to a um, lighter disc so we will get a soft foam sponge and we'll be using the NPO 306. So as we were speaking about at the start of the video, we've got some really severe water spotting issues with this car on the glasses, a little bit on the panels as well, but the solution that has worked amazingly, felt pad. So this is a Sonax um, polishing pad 
that is specifically designed for glass. So what we use with that in combination is the ultimate cut on the felt pad and it cleans it right up. Now what we need to do is we just need to evenly work the entire glass. And when polishing glass, one of the most important things is make sure not to get the temperature too high. Let's hit the exhaust tip. First of all, make it a bit wet. I'm just going to use a bit of clear glass here, but you can use water as well. And grab your 2000 grit sandpaper. Just give it a good wet sand. That gets rid of all of that hard oxidation slash rust on it. And that's what cleans it up before we hit it with the metal polish. This is one of my favorite tricks to do on exhaust tips because it makes them up, come up so much nicer at the end. So I usually just apply this to my finger, generously apply it to the exhaust tip. This metal polish is completely safe on skin. One doesn't need to wear gloves. Start working it like this until you get that high gloss.